Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Scary <laughs> Streaming Sundays. You know what it is. We are back. Welcome, gays, ghouls, and everyone in between. This is our official streaming night where we hop on for like three hours, talk to you guys, answer questions, hang out, but also get spooky. Mm -hmm. we, we've been pretty scared for the most part in the past few weeks. Yeah. I gotta say, I know we're watching more Mandela catalogs tonight, but those videos freak me out. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening in them, but maybe that's the point. Maybe that's why I'm so fucking scared of them. Um, I haven't even had a drink yet. Cheers. Cheers. We're doing wine tonight. We are being classy bitches today. We are having wine. Why? Because I had a lot of tequila yesterday. Yeah. Lots of people saying hi in the chat. Hello, everyone. We are so happy that you are here. Yeah, let me put on some music. Talk to the folks at home, Cody. Well, we do have a request to see the magic cups. Mine is not magic. Mine is just glass with some ice cubes in it because I'm extra classy. Sergio has a fancy wine glass that has some, like, ice stuff in the side. So you pop this in the freezer, and then it keeps everything cold. Which is super fun. Uh, somebody said, "Have you ever? Have we ever watched Urban Spook?" And I don't think we have. Oh, that is so high <laughs> for our ear holes. For our ear holes. Uh, M Tabor says, "Please, more Trey assistant. That will scare the hell out of you." I mean, we already the played who? a little bit of it, and I'm not the, excited for more. Uh, more of what? Mortuary Assistant. Oh, yes. We're playing today. Mm -hmm. We're playing today. That is going to be towards the end of the stream. We're going to finish off with Mortuary Assistant um, only because my tolerance for first gaming games, first person games, mm -hmm. is a little bit low. So I have to figure myself out there. Uh, somebody said, I got to recommend The Walton Files if you like Mandela. The Walton Files. Hmm, I'll have to check those out. That sounds spooky. Jacob Duffield says, you guys have us watching Scream Queens now. Yes! I love that everyone is watching Scream Queens mm -hmm. um, and love that we're watching it with you guys. Yeah. We have the finale to Scream Queens next week. Coming up very soon. It's going to be sad because I've been, it's been such a journey. Like it's, you can tell because by the end of the series, everyone is mostly gone and it's yeah. only like a couple of people left in the show. So like, I don't know. It feels like it's heading towards a finale. Mm -hmm. uh, CG says, have y'all watched the new Exorcist trailer? We have. We have. And that's because, not by choice actually, mm -hmm. because we went to go see Oppenheimer in theaters at like 10 30 PM. That was a long night. Um, but it was before the trail. It was before the movie. Yep. So like we we didn't know what was happening, and then we realized, oh my god, that's the actress's trailer. We couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. So we did see it. Um, what are your thoughts? Honestly, it looks fucking terrifying, and I didn't realize that it was the Exorcist trailer at first. Um, so I mean, that was at least good that it like waited until halfway through the trailer, and it's like, oh no, something is very wrong. This is not good. See. That's the that's the thing, uh, because during the trailer, uh, you probably wouldn't know this, but um, the the theme song to The Exorcist uh, was playing just like a little bit, little snippets of it. So I immediately was like, oh, OK, that's what it is. Yeah, I heard it, but it didn't oh, click for me until click. until later. But this is my read. And don't don't fucking freak out, guys. But at first, it seemed like your regular schmegular like possession movie. But it's twice. But there's two people. There's two people possessed. So I was like, <laughs> all right, let's see what this is. Cause like some some possession movies are good. Some possessions are like really good. And some are just like, nah. But the ending frames where they were like showing them just like ex overexposed and mm -hmm. seem kind of creepy as fuck. So I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to it because I know uh, David Gordon Green can deliver on gore. Yeah. And I feel like The Exorcist gave us some like gory bits. Uh, right now it doesn't seem like that crazy of things, but like it was kind of shocking for its time. So that's what I want this movie to be. I want yeah. it to be shocking. Shock me the fuck out. 
We do have a super chat from Hey Jamie. Thank you. Um, Welcome, who, Hey Jamie. Hi. Who said, do y'all take recommendations for horror shorts? Let me go the right way on Alter is written by Stephen King's son, directed by Spielberg's daughter. Oh, my God. You add that to the list. We were going to be adding that to the list. Honestly, maybe tonight. So, hey, Jamie, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, I've also seen a bunch of questions in the chat about whether we are watching Scream Queens season two. I mean, we also have gotten a lot of comments about season two. Mm -hmm. We are debating it. That's what that's where we're at right now, because um, we've been at first. A lot of people were saying that Scream Queen season two were like, don't watch it. Don't, it'll ruin like season one for you. Uh, but then some people are like, it's so bad, it's good. But then some people are saying like, it's really good. So we don't, we're, we're kind of, we don't know, we don't know. But we, <laughs> odds are, probably, odds are we probably, probably will. will. As, because uh, I'm thinking like maybe we should save it for like in case Chucky gets delayed, um, till like next year. Maybe we watch season two of Scream Queen since it's been such a while since that's been released for Halloween. Um, but who knows? You know, we're still in the in the kind of process of thinking things out. Yeah, I mean, either way, it's probably safe to say there might be a little tiny uh, break between season one and season two for us because we have a bunch of other things to catch up. We on. have a bunch of movies to watch for sure. Uh, Raina says, "Have you guys seen the Exorcist movie, and will you be rewatching it in time for the sequel?" We did watch the original Exorcist. Yeah, we've seen it. It was we've a little while ago, but we've watched it. Cody probably has only seen it once. I have only seen I've it I've seen once. it a couple of times. I think that's a, a horror classic. Uh, Hello, it is Lucy says, I really appreciate your channel. Also, I'd love to see a video about your favorite movies you recommend. Uh, Hello, it's, it is Lucy. Thank you so Thank much you. for watching the channel and supporting us. Um, that actually might be a good idea for, to, uh, for us to make a video on... I think from your perspective. Okay. Because if you guys are new to the channel, um, we are a horror channel about how I love horror. I live for it. Even the scary stuff, just like put it into my veins. Um, and I live for that kind of stuff. But Cody doesn't. Yeah. When we first started dating, Cody said he does not like horror. It's kind of debatable now. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I'll say that in my adventure over the last couple of years, it's definitely been eye-opening to me because I, I viewed horror as a monolith where it really is not. And so there are some, there are movies that I have watched and enjoyed that I think are technically within the horror vein, like some of the more like horror thriller stuff along those lines and like truly, truly enjoyed them. But I wouldn't have ever considered them horror before. So, yeah. but they're still, I don't like being scared. It's still the bottom line. Yeah, Cody does not like being scared. <laughs> don't like gore that much. He doesn't like gore. Uh, so it's kind of me exposing him to all this horror, horrific things um, that us horror lovers have grown to love and know um, and kind of getting his perspective. So it would be a great way to kind of be like, I recommend some things of, you know, what I would consider like classics, but also you consider things of like, if you're just starting out in horror, mm -hmm. what would you recommend? You know, I, I, I like that idea. Uh, also, a lot of love in our chat right now for Haunting of Hill House, which we did watch Haunting of Hill we House. We did. We have not seen Bly Manor, but we did watch Haunting of Hill House. And, and we loved it. It, it, but it was very scary. We it was very it, scary. Uh, in preparation for going down to Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Orlando a couple years ago when they had the house for it. And I have to say, that's probably, we've only gone the past two years so far, but that's probably the scariest house that we were in. It was the very first one that we did. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> and, uh, oh, my God. That was crazy. It definitely set some high expectations for me in terms of how scary the houses at Halloween Horror Nights would be. Um, but yeah, we did watch it in advance of that. And it was a really good show. Uh, someone said, so Hey Jamie says, Cody would love Haunting of Hill House. Way more story based. Scary stuff is secondary. Such a brilliant show, which we did. We mm -hmm. watched it. You both saw, but we, we did. did. We, we did. did cry. A that lot. was such an interesting show because it was fucking scary. The story was interesting. Uh, the, 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 the episode that's in the funeral place. Oh yeah! Oh my god! So fucking good. Um, yeah, so many emotions. We, I, I wish we we saved it for the re, for the channel, but that'll be like one of those shows that we just experienced for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But we're willing to talk about it. 
Uh, Cubby Hole says, how was Beyonce? How was Beyonce? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, for those who don't know, I went to, well, Cody and I yeah, went I to go gonna see. Yeah, I was going to say, I was there too. Sorry. Thank you. Co yesterday was my birthday. I turned old. Mm -hmm. um, so Cody and I went to go see Beyonce at MetLife. It was fucking incredible. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to be posting some things on my personal Instagram. Uh, but yeah, it was amazing. We, we love Beyonce. Uh, Dia Badass 0523 Isles says Bly Manor is for the gays So maybe Wait we'll have minute. to add that to yeah, our watch list up. Monster0711 says Happy birthday Remember to take your town law Well thank you so much uh, Monster And yeah I have a little bit of a headache today So <laughs> I'm And of course nothing says like Get rid of your headache like drinking like wine. more alcohol. So. Mm. Uh, hey, Jamie says Midnight Mass is great too. We have not watched Midnight Mass, though I did I did see that there's a dog in it. And if again, something about me is that I'm very sensitive when it comes to animal uh, stuff in horror movies. And mm. unfortunately, you know, I love horror movies, but that does come hand in hand. So. I'm going to be tiptoeing around Midnight Mass. Yeah. Uh, Lance B. Reacting says, hey, fellas, I lived for your VHS reaction. Thank you so Thank much. You. VHS is one of those movies that definitely got Cody. Yes. Definitely got Cody. <laughs> and VHS 2. I think both VHS 1 and 2 were pretty fucking scary. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't seen that, we have reactions to both movies on our channel right now. Riley, a lot of triggers in Midnight Mass. All right, <laughs> we are gonna have to really. Yeah, there were some comments about religious stuff too, mm. um, which will be interesting for me because I I wouldn't say that I have religious trauma by any means, but I did grow up in a very religious family. Raina says I recommend for your reactions TV list this series called The Boys, very effed up version of MCU. It's so good. We have seen it. We, have. we cannot wait for season four. I think that's where they're at. I think so. Um, if you guys want us to do a reaction to The Boys season four, we'll be, we'll definitely do it. Yeah. Or maybe we can just do like a combined video of each season because it's we've only seen it once. Yeah. Uh, Dia Badass says, "Have you seen Good Omens?" I don't think we have. I I haven't. No. Let's go back a little bit. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Mia, hey everyone, hope I didn't miss much. I'm a little late, no worries. We actually started today at 7.15, yep. just because our day has been a little bit busy and we woke up late. We slept in until noon. We did. <laughs> Gavin says, my boyfriend doesn't like horror either. I've been slowly easing him into different things, but it's been a struggle. Hey, we do recommend checking out our podcast because mm -hmm. we also, we start the podcast with like a few easy horror movies yeah and then go right i think like we were probably about a year into my horror journey at that point yeah and then it wasn't as bad yeah the first one that we watched together which was really smart on your part was scream um and the reason that we put that on really was twofold the first is that i love a good like mystery something i gotta pay attention and solve is like right up my alley but also i loved scary movie even though i hadn't seen any of the movies it was referencing so uh that was another reason we watched it fairly early on is because i already like you know the source content for scary movie um fatima says just found this channel about a week ago and i'm obsessed with you guys oh, thank you i've been watching so many of your videos thank you so much welcome it's so crazy that we have like over i think we've made it over 100 videos it has to be. If not, we got to be close. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. We have um, Potato says you guys should watch the Conjuring Universe movies if you haven't already. Like The Nun, Annabelle, and The Conjuring. Oh, that is a journey. That is a journey. We did watch the first Conjuring. We watched the first Conjuring. And it was rough for me. Yes. But we haven't seen the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Um, so that would be interesting. 
Riley says, I didn't know you guys had a podcast. And we what? do. This channel actually uh, evolved from the podcast. We had the podcast first, and we would watch the movies on our own and then spend the podcast breaking it down. Mm-hmm. And that, and, and you know, we would really go through the plot. Uh, in our later podcast, we, uh, we simplified a little bit because I would get too into the weeds with a lot of things. Yeah. It was my fault. But <laughs> um, but then it evolved to the channel so you could actually watch us watch the movie in real time. Yeah. So we have like 70 or so episodes of the podcast. Head over there. Uh, it's available wherever you get podcasts. We still do podcasts now. Um, the only thing is we're, we're only going to be doing podcasts when it comes to like um, guests. So yes. like if we have a guest that comes on, uh, we will do a podcast where we just talk about the movie because we can only talk about the movie so much when we're reacting to it. Yep. Because we, afterwards we want to like marinate in the information and then talk about it. This music is like scary. Do you guys hear it? It's great. It's giving me like, I want to be like carving a pumpkin right now. <laughs> Want to like carve a pumpkin? Uh, Artist channel says Cody. Hi, I like your shirt. Thank you. This is actually Sir Joe's. I stole it from him. <laughs> Hi, artist. Welcome back. Welcome. Uh, artist has made some really cool stuff that they have put in our Discord. So if you're yes. not part of the Discord and you want to go join, you can see. Oh yeah, hold on. It's so bright. Oh my god. Uh, Shane Luke says, will you guys be reacting to Insidious 3? Because you guys are the only ones who I can watch horror with as you guys are so enjoyable. Well, thank you. Thank you That's so really much. sweet. We 100% are planning to watch Insidious 3. It's happening. Yeah, we, we have so many ones. We do want to like say that we are going to be watching the Saw franchise, hopefully in time by the new movie. But we are going to save the new movie for the, I think, Saw 10. Mm-hmm. Um, until it comes out on streaming so we can watch it uh but yeah i think we're going to be doing saw and hopefully by the time that it comes out on streaming super excited for that yeah cody is not looking forward to that one <laughs> cody is going to be like gripping gripping his his hands to it and beating the movies over the head with no logic. no yes. no <laughs> uh the movie gamer guy says will you guys collab with pug a pillar and we we would love it. We would love it. Yes. I think we had Pug a Pillar like on on live uh, in the chat last week. Yeah. Um and so we would yeah, we would love we love Pug a Pillar. Where is Artist Channel says which one is more scary, art or pennywise? That's a really good question because Pennywise will terrorize you psychologically, whereas art will terrorize you physically. This page is so fucking bright. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but I think my answer to that question would be I think Pennywise because I could just be like, mm, I don't believe in you. And then he goes away. Ah. That was what I took away from it, chapter one and two. Do you guys plan on watching Talk To Me? Yes, we are going to be watching Talk To Me when it comes out on streaming, hopefully soon. Jeff C27, makeup tutorial lighting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that would be perfect to just like blend, blend, blend. Wait, there's this song. So, did you ever hear the our our opening title song? Our opening title song? Yeah, for our for our reaction videos. Uh, you know how whole... we go like, uh, and welcome to the hard bandwagon, and it goes into the song. Yeah, I've heard that, but you not heard like the full thing. The full thing, no. You let's listen to it. All right. I just want to like jam out. <laughs> Our opening intro song is by this guy named Icarus, and it's called Lonely Earth. I feel like I'm the I'm the DJ. 
And right up next, we have a rising star called Icarus. I mean, we did just lonely listen to Earth. Killer Frequency. This is my one, one, my one chance yeah, where we have a choice. Yeah, spotlights on you. Yeah. Lights go down. Sergio is the performer of the two of us, for sure. Hey! Hey! <laughs> then the lights go down. This is nice! Hey! Hey! So the minute... I just heard, I just remember, let's see, I just can only guess that people are like, what are you saying? Uh, because the music is uh, up. I remember hearing this song and it was like, I need this to be the intro to oh, our, yeah, it's perfect. to our, uh, our thing. Uh, I so we got see, the license for it. I did see Riley say, uh, have you guys played Killer Frequency? And then uh, it must have been posted right at the second that I said, we just played Killer Frequency. Oh, you did yes. yes. Last week. And then I think two or three weeks before that, we played Killer Frequency. And so far on the channel, we have completed two games. Yes. Outlast and Killer Frequency. Go us. <laughs> Hold up. Whoa. Do you hear that? Yeah, there's like an echo of it. What happened to it? Did uh -huh. I mess something up? Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's an echo. I hear it. All right, we messed something up. Oh, <laughs> that that was on us. Oh my god. Anyways, we want to get pumped up. Let's get into short films. Yeah. All right. So here's the first one that we I was planning to get into. Hold on. Let me find out that it's not like. Laurent uh, says, I love when y'all watch a scary movie and music comes on after something gory happened. And Sergio is dancing and Cody says, it's not the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that it's, is usually. It's not the time happens. will probably be uh, one of our first t-shirts oh that God. we sell. Newsom's Treasure says, would y'all play At Dead of Night? I don't know anything about it, but probably. I don't know that there's much that we won't play. <laughs> there's not much that we won't do with the right tips. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's go over to the reaction uh, room. <laughs> <laughs> Always bringing the sound effects. How did that happen? We are so good at transitions. Um, okay, so today's short film that we are going to be watching is The Other Side of the Box. Okay. If you have seen this one, uh, do not spoil it. I don't know it. Uh, but let's see it, right? Let's, let's go into All it. All right, let's do it. Before we do, let's see. Uh, Jan, Tyler, y'all are both so amazing. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, Cubby Holes, I will be celebrating my beat day with you guys on next week's stream, August 6th. You're going to be spending it with us? That's so sweet. That's so nice. Uh, well, we'll remember to shout you out and say happy birthday. We're going to be shouting you out. We are going to be drinking on your behalf. Um, yeah. Uh, Shane Luke says, did you enjoy watching Scream Queens and will you watch season two? We have loved it so far. We still have the finale to watch. Um, please do not spoil anything. And we are probably going to watch season two, but we might take a little break and come back to it in a month or two. The movie gamer guy says, you guys should play My Friendly Neighborhood. Mm. It's a Muppets horror game. A Muppets horror game. That sounds terrifying. And I would love to play that. Can we play as Miss Piggy? I am Miss Piggy. I'm Miss Piggy. Scary music so far. All right. Oh, careful. You're cutting that broccoli awfully short, you know? You just keep your eyes on the sauce, sister. I got the broccoli under control. Sister? 
No, yes. like, you better believe I am not to be trifled with. Okay, we're not All right. leaving he our is lives. We're not doing cringy that. Cringy off the bat. Cringy off the bat. That broccoli is not to be trifled with. Oh, hey, hey, the sauce, you cannot let it burn. The recipe says stirring constantly. I swear. I swear, if any of those two inch broccoli end up on my plate, you're getting it. Hold on. Let me see if I can get some. So oh, no. Cloak caption. Sorry, guys. I have to deal with a disappointing two inches enough as it is. You are bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna do it uh, right then and there. You, I guess. We need proof. Oh my god. Of me anyway. Oh god. Well, it's not a bad two, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe hear, two and a half. Do I hear three? <laughs> you're getting me wet. Yeah, oh! No, Jesus, you're not getting, getting her wet. wet. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll get the door. You save the sauce. Uh, hey, Jamie, I don't see it here, unfortunately. It's saying that it's not available. Um, but let me see if I can get another one going in, because I do want you guys to kind of uh, read the subtitle. So give me two seconds. I will also say, though, like, quick just focus on that wrapped package in the car is giving me screen. PTSD from Smile. Uh, Newsom's Treasure says, At Dead of Night is about a girl who must escape a remote hotel run by a psychopath called Jimmy Hall by communicating with the ghosts of Jimmy's victims. Interesting. It kind of sounds like, what was that movie? Like a similar concept to that movie that came out last year that we saw an advanced screening of because we got lucky. Do you remember the what? The Black Phone? Yes. Yes. It sounds sort of like the black phone, a similar concept. All right. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I don't have another thing that says um, with captions, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Everyone Sister? in the comments also helping me out. You better black believe phone. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, God damn it. That broccoli is not to be trifled with either. Oh, hey, hey, the sauce. Oh, you cannot this... let it burn. The recipe says stirring constantly. I swear. I swear, if any of those two-inch broccoli end up on my plate, you're getting it. It seems like it might be. I have to deal with a disappointing two inches enough as it is. You are bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I like you, I guess. I mean, all two inches of me anyway. Oh, God. He's tall well, and lanky. I feel like he's a got a bigger two, than that. I guess. Mm -hmm. I Maybe hear, two and a half? Do I hear three? You're getting me wet. Yeah, but I want to hear. No, Jesus, you're getting me wet. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Right, I'll get the door. You save the Random sauce. knocks on the door. Never a good thing. Also, why are you knocking so loud? <gasps> oh, shit. What? It's Sean. Who's Sean? What is he doing here? I don't know. Oh, I really don't want to see him right now. Oh. What's the drama, yeah. girl? Give me the tea. I like her short blonde hair. It looks good. Sean, mm -hmm. long time, man. Good, uh, good to see you. Hey, Ben. Um, this is a bad time. Uh, no, I was just. Uh, no. Yeah, sorry. Do you want to come in? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Thanks. Also, not y'all in the comments being like, he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your mom told me where you were at. Oh. Oh. This is a nice place. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Where are you at now? Same place. Oh, cool. I'm really sorry everything went down before. No, no, you know, it's uh, water under the bridge. How did everything did go down? Hear? Did he like her? Oh, Was no, she's, uh, she's at her parents' house right now. She's decorating. Oh, great. Um, look, I just, <laughs> I just want to give you this. Sean, you, <laughs> I, um, uh, can I get you a drink or something? No, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is weird. Are you okay? Yeah, uh. I don't know. Yes. He doesn't look okay. Can you 
Can you just do me a favor, though? Yeah, of course. Can you, can you open it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, man. That's, uh... uh... Okay, what would you do in this situation? I mean, I wouldn't answer the door in the first place. <laughs> it's, uh, are those like, a lot like, of CDs, like, in the back? I'd have been like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. That's really not a good time. We, like... I mean, I'll, if you want to give that to me, ain't. Tall Asian chick, yo, you came out strong in the li in the chat. Is this the start of a porno? <laughs> oh lord. Of corno. That's what that's what we gotta well, say. Well, he does want him to unwrap his package. So Ooh. maybe could be some some devices. Let's open it. And uh, open open the box first. The card will make sense after. Uh, the rules are card first. You gotta. <laughs> Those Gotta the read rules. the card. Gotta read the card. Oh. Yeah, that's a. That that's looks a note. so right, weird. I, 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 that's I don't get it. Wait, like, curse. Is it supposed to. Hey, Sean? I'm sorry. Sean? I'm sorry. I gotta go. Oh, he just left you uh, a cursed object, sir. Oh, my what God. Happened? That little bitch. He left. What's that? A box. Well, no shit. Ben? All right. Wait, I'm you're gonna, your first instinct is to get a flashlight? Ben. I'm putting it out here right now. If we ever get a box that just has darkness inside, that fucker is going to the backyard, and I'm setting it the fuck on yeah, fire. Yeah, can I just burn it? Can I just be like, yeet, pure into the snow? I don't know. Jacob Young, this is literally like those next door taboo videos. Nah, girl. Mm -mm. Lo nah. Mm -mm. She's about to be like, not in front of my salad in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ben. You see that? I need something. What? Is this like a Mary Poppins? Is box? he gonna like just drop something in and see what happens? Yeah, just watch. <laughs> Burn it. Burn it. Oh, we're in the box. Well, that's odd. Burn no it. No kidding. Burn it. Is it, this is like a bag of holding in in D and D, like that kind of concept. Don't. Yeah, I wouldn't. Jesus. He gave this to you. Yeah. There was a card. Standing room one twenty three says, "Life's like a box of darkness." <laughs> oh my god. It's Dear making ben, me want to just like jump into I'm it. I'm sorry about everything before and everything now, but I had to give it to someone. I don't have it all figured out, but I know it can't move while you're watching. What? Oh. It threw it back up. Whatever you do, don't take your eyes off of it. It wants you to look away. that who are you what are you doing in my house burn it hello it looks like nicholas cage hello it looked like that guy from impractical jokers i'm calling sean uh, sean is gone sean doesn't exist anymore sir are you okay Hey, this is Sean. Leave a message. Sean, hey, it's Ben. Look. This one's off. I don't know what this thing is. Monster711 says, uh, it's a dick in a box. Hey. Call me back. A dick now. in a box, girl. Yeah, no, this is an absolute no for me. This is the Can worst you pick it up with his head in it? Because he said it can't move if you're looking at it. I don't know. What do you think it wants? I don't know. Call him again. 
Is this going to be a thing where like you need to coordinate your blinking so you don't both blink at the same time? <laughs> what? Because what? I would like. I got, well, he's not blinking at all. So you lose. Oh my God. Jay Tyler said take turns blinking. Thank you. I'm not the only one. Oh, Streamlabs. I thought I took you out. It is like the Doctor Who Weeping Angels. I would I would apply the same logic here. You have to like have one person designated to look at it. They can't blink until you look at it. John, leave a message. What do you think it wants? I said I don't know. I need more wine, please. Wait a second. Why is it looking at you like that? <gasps> Wait, hold on. I think we're out of sync. What does that happen? Are you sure? Yeah. I'm assuming that it's just... Hey, this is Sean. Leave a message. What do you think it wants? I said I don't know. Because his oh. lips are moving. We're not out of sync. Why is it looking at you like that? Sean. Hey, it's Ben. Look, call me back. Now. We're getting out of here. Rachel. Is she stuck? Is she like in the glitch? That looks so fucking creepy with just uh -huh. that head coming up. It looks like the uh, the Jackbox head. Yeah, it does actually. We can't. We're not supposed to look away from it. What happens if we do? Well, that's what we need to find out. Hmm. Just for a second. Okay. We need to know what we're dealing with. On the count of three. One, two, two. Okay. three. Did I hear clicking? <laughs> it's like. Could have been worse. <laughs> Hello. What? What do you want? Can you like stabby stab? I'm sorry, I gotta go. With the kitchen knife? Just Ben. <gasps> Don't let him leave the house. Can't move as long as you're looking at it, right? That's what it says? Yeah. I'm gonna find Sean. I don't know why he did this, but I'm gonna find out. So we're just gonna leave her at it? One of us has to stay and watch it. No, 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 don't, don't, don't leave me alone here with this no, thing. It's fine. We don't even know what it is, okay? It could be harmless. Stabby stab. Is that what you think? <laughs> Throw it like a spitball. I like, <laughs> I truly don't understand why they are not like attempting to destroy this box. Toasty, Rodri says Sangela, and she's in season. Oh my God! Right? Yes. <laughs> you heard what Sean said. Not let you leave the house. That's exactly what it wants. What? Just be quick. I like her. She's strong. She's like, I, I quick. fucking let me do it. Hey, this is Sean. Leave a message. Hey, this is Sean. Leave a message. Hey, this is Sean. Leave a message. Sean, answer the phone. Dude, take a hint. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to be I don't reached. know why you did this, but I'm going to find out. You told us what you said. I don't know why I could have possibly done. What are you talking about? Sean, why haven't you been answering? What did you just say? Why haven't you been answering the phone? No, you. You just said. It told us what I said? Yeah, it spoke. Or echoed. It, it told us what you said. Oh, what he I just said. wanted what it to happen mean? to him. Uh, who's us? Oh, come on about me not leaving the house. Ben, I didn't tell it to do anything. I didn't I didn't even know it could speak. Sean, what's going on? Yeah, tell us, Sean. Ben, it's lying to you. I don't know why, but it lied to you. I didn't even know he Why had a southern accent. Us. us, you keep saying us. Who's us? Us, man, me and Rachel. She was at the house. 
Ben, where are you right now? I'm I'm coming to you. No, no, no! You you have to keep your eyes on it! I know, Rachel's watching it. No, Ben, you! 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 Oh, God damn it! I gave it to you! You, you have fucker! Skrrr! Tokyo ben, drifted. Don't go back! Don't you go back there! Okay, well now what? She's gotta be dead. Oh. Oh. The lights are out. That's never. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> Girl. What is that? Water and a knife. Did she try to stab it? And then it's just like water. Take my hand off my wine before I pour it everywhere. Jesus. Rachel? Time to go, bro. No, you don't yeah? need to go. What's up? Nope. Where's the box? That's Goodbye, not her. Guys. Goodbye. That door is more open than it was before, right? I don't know. Or am I just imagining things? I'm fucking going insane. Tall Asian chick says, have a code word. We have a code word. And I forgot I, it already. He always he forgets it. <laughs> I always forget it. It's giving barbarian vibes. And we told her to go not in the basement either. <gasps> okay. Is it gonna be the old man? because he keeps looking at two people. Oh, oh, shit. You're fucked. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're cute, but you fucked. Yeah. Yes. That was good. I stand by what I said. Should have burnt think? the box. What? I said I stand by what I said. Should have burnt the box. The box should have been burnt. I, I think for sure. There should have been something happening there. But I thought that was good. I thought that was really scary. Yeah. What are the comments saying? All right. So uh, a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of people saying that they hate this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are spooky. <laughs> these are scary streaming Sundays. Yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be a little creeped out. Uh, Brittany Cox says, genuinely don't know how they didn't scream much louder when they saw the head poking out. That's a really good question. Because I would have. Oh All right. This is also another one that I saw on online, I heard. Because what do I do? I type in scary short films. And this is one that came up. So it's only, I think, a minute long. So. Yeah. 
get into it. Yutaka. Hey, Yutaka. I got a good one from Alter. It's from the director of Hail Ratma. Hail Ratma. Hail Ratma. Let us know. What is it? <laughs> Indigo says, I love it. LOL, because I'm toxic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is called Tuck Me In. Bedtime, Alex. Daddy, can you tuck me in? Of course. Okay, off the bat, that kid sounds horrifying. Creeping. <laughs> yeah. That kid sounds horrifying. I am not prepared for if the children we have someday are creepy without trying. Yeah, I was like... I'm not ready. Well, because like they're, they're going to come up to us saying, like, Daddy, there's a monster under my bed. And I'm like... Okay, describe the monster. <laughs> describe it. Does it look human? Because if it's human, we got to get out of here. Is it tall and skinny? Is it short and fat? <laughs> what color is it? All right, let's go back. Bedtime, Alex. Daddy, can you check me in? Of course. I do not like this perspective from like under the bed. Yeah, why'd I do that? Good night, Alex. You forgot to look under the bed. Of course. That's why I said. Sorry, buddy. That's why I said. <gasps> Daddy, there's somebody in my bed. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who are you? You. Oh my god! That's so fucking creepy. Oh my god! This chills. is this is the the fear of having having children. They're they're gonna be they're gonna be playing with imaginary friends. Mm. Ah! That was haunting. Um, what was the the title of the short film that Hey Jamie said? Do you remember? Uh, no. Hey, Jamie, if you're still in the chat, can you mention the title? Oh, no, I think it was like, let me go, right? Hmm. All right. So that was scary because what the fuck? Who are you? Why are you up here? Do you pay rent? Are you planning to pay rent? Oh, yeah. Let me go the right way. And that's what it was. All right. Oh, this is a 15 minute one. Holy crap. Send help. All right. Do we do this one today or do we go into Mandela catalog? I say let's do it today. All and right. then we can go into Mandela catalog and like really thoroughly creep ourselves out. All right. Because when we started the stream, the sun was still up, and now and now the it's sun a little down. darker. So now it's creepy. It's 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 getting creepy up in here. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this stream. Uh, Shelly Hunt, I just found you guys a channel. You guys are hilarious. Well, thank you so much. We really don't try. We we're, we're just ourselves, and we invite people in. Cubby Hole says plot twist. He doesn't have any kids. <laughs> oh my god! It's like what the fuck? What are you doing here? Melvin the Brave Fish, no sleep tonight. That's right. No. Indigo, right? LOL, how dare you live in my house for free? Like, for <laughs> real. Like, come on. I only agree to one kid right now. All right, let's watch this. This is from Hey Jamie, who gave us a super chat before. And Retrobisco is in the chat. They say hi. Welcome. Okay, Greg, I have to go. Yeah, now listen, don't let them fill your ears with nonsense. That's my job, okay? <laughs> I'll see you Monday. That sounds like something I would say. Sorry it took so long to get you into the schedule. Please, have a seat. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorry, guys. Hey, I know that guy. That guy's in other stuff. So, so when you made the appointment, you said you work as a bank guard. 
How do you like that? It's okay. Must be a lot of time on your feet. It's not so bad. You're in good health? No complaints. All right. <clears throat> How can I help you, Aiden? I, uh... It's weird. You've come to the right man. Pardon? Weird is my specialty. Says so right on the degree. Wait, really? No. Oh. Great. Listen, Aiden, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Something's bothering you. You're here. Brian Maybe Darcy James, that's the guy's name. <gasps> he played Shrek on Broadway. And he was in Something Rotten. Uh, I feel like I'm being... And in West Side Story. Wow, we know this guy a lot more than we thought. <laughs> teased. How so? It sounds crazy. Aiden, I once treated a man who thought his hands turned into feet when he was asleep and kicked him. Wow, really? Yes, and he still sends me Christmas cards from the asylum. I didn't say that to upset you. I said that because sitting across from you now, I can see that whatever's troubling you is something a good deal more manageable than that. Mm. I don't even want to be in the same conversation as the feet for hands guy. <laughs> I, I feel like someone's been altering my things. Altering your things? What do you mean? Like my pants are hemmed today. This is 45 I have by the Supremes. And they have a song called Let Me Go the Right Way. A couple of days ago, I realized that the label had changed. It used to say Let Me Go the Right Way, and now it says Let Me Go parentheses the right way. Huh. Is this like a... Wasn't there before. Like a Mandela effect thing? Like what you thought was... Like how we all simultaneously, as a nation, uh, thought that there was a movie called Shazam with um I did not Sinbad. think that. I want to go on the record. I'm not part of I that. I did. I for sure thought. But then there's like a movie called Kazam with uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. But there never was a movie called Shazam. But I, for, for real, like for a long time, thought there was a movie called Shazam with Sinbad in it when I was a kid. Or like the Berenstein Bears is another one. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like what? Baron it's the Berenstein Bears. Bears. Apparently. Yeah. That's right. You couldn't have possibly misread it originally. No, oh, Doc. I'm, I'm telling you. I've listened to this record a ton and a ton of times. And I know exactly what the label says, and there's no parentheses. No parentheses. You think I'm crazy? I didn't say that. And other things have been altered? Yeah, I'm, my, my brown shirt is, I mean, it's, now it's green. All right, now my that's crazy. My <laughs> silver, and now it's gold. I, I bought a big jar of pickles, and the next day I took it out of the fridge, it was a small jar. I mean, Aww. ridiculously tiny. Oh, that's so cute. You see the missing part? I did. Is your work at the bank stressful? Are you worried that someone might come in with a gun? No. Listen, Aiden. I don't think you're crazy. But you are stressed. And I don't know how it started, but it snowballed. And we're going to stop it. Is there a drugstore near your apartment building? Yeah, right at the bottom. Terrific. I'm prescribing you one bottle of beer and a one-a-day tablet every night. All right. I expect your drugstore sells both. The drugstore sells beer? We'll talk oh. again next week at the same time. Thank you, Dr. Kemp. Thank you. Enjoy that beer. What if he has a substance abuse problem? July 21st. That was recently. Aiden. I've been wondering how you've been getting along. Doesn't look good, Doc. Not as well as we hoped. No. Tell me. You know how a radiator clanks and shakes before it does anything? 
before it expresses heat, of course. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm shaking, clanking inside. Hold out your hand, please. Keep it as steady as you can. All right, thank you. You can put it down now. You're not shaking on the outside. Have any of your other things been altered? No. Still taking the one a days? And the beer, like you said. The idea is not for you to transform yourself into a dipsomaniac. It's for you to relax. Yes, just, just one. Good. Indigo, can you prescribe me a man too? <laughs> There's something else, though. Yeah, it's... It's weird. I like that little dummy in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what it is is I... I take the bus to work, and I've been seeing this woman a lot lately. She's older, but not old. She's very dignified. And she wears this purple coat. I can picture her. So... Why can't she, you let him she talk? She gets off right before my bank. And this past Saturday, she sat beside me wearing her coat as as always except was torn on the shoulder and that struck me because you can't imagine this woman going out of the door with even a hair out of place and she was squeezing her purse palpating it like she was upset and on her face she had a a sore, and we get to her stop, and when she stood up, she, her face was close to my ear at one moment, and she whispers, Don't take the pills, they make the world lie. She got off, and I haven't seen her on the bus since. Oh, hell no. Said, I'd be like, the pills. back up, girl. Don't take the pills, they make the world lie. I know it's stupid, but another crazy thing is, how does she know I'm taking a pill? Well, she couldn't, but plenty of people do take pills, right? Yeah. Suppose she rode the buses all day long. Oh, that reminds me. Whispering to 20 different people, don't take the pills, they make the world lie. I bet she'd strike a nerve with at least 10 of those people, probably more. Why would she do that? I mean, I'm currently thinking maybe the psychologist. People partake in all kinds of antisocial behaviors it. and that maybe the pills do anyway like make something worse don't take the pills anymore really really better safe than sorry right now the original stress is reaching out grabbing for purchase for anything it can get its tentacles on next week you sure i'm not crazy I'm sure. <gasps> it's Friday. What's wrong? Aiden, what's going on? Sure, my name's not Paul. People that I've been working with for months have been calling me Paul. Paul. Didn't you hear me calling your name? What? How about those meds, Paul? Aiden, I, I'm concerned. Nobody comes here. Now calm down, please. Wait, what are you talking about? I took off work and I walked to your office on Monday and Tuesday. Nobody came. Huh. You watched my office for two whole days. Ever since I started seeing you, everything's been going wrong. Shakiness, the woman warning me, people at the bank calling me by someone else's name, and now this? I think there was something in the It's vitamins. a sore. Or, or you switched the bottles when the store owner wasn't looking, or you paid him off. Aiden, I work at Bellevue on Mondays and Tuesdays. Sure you do. Why would I have poisoned your vitamins? I don't know. Cause you're up to some sick fucking experiment. You tell me. Aiden, do you think that I paid off everyone that you work with at the bank as well? You must have. <laughs> okay. And I, I gather that I snuck into your apartment and I tampered with all of your things as well? Exactly what I think. Aiden, I oh, am one man. I don't have the resources to do what you are talking about. I am not at the forefront of some conspiracy. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. 
Where's your fish? <gasps> what? I don't have a fish, Aiden. I've never had one. I don't know who to trust. Ah! I knew you were gonna say that's you. I knew it. Is this about gaslighting? <laughs> Do you know what I'm gonna say next? You're having a breakdown, son, but it's all right. We're gonna get you help. I'm so scared. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get you checked in today. I have admitting privileges at an exceptional oh, no. facility, and we will get you a room right away. This is Kemp. Put me through to Dr. Stevenson. Now. Yes, I realize, yes. Weird and demented theory. <gasps> please, please, just you. do it. Dr. Ken, who are you? Who are you? Lock him in. <gasps> Run, girl. Run. <laughs> oh, oh. That was a little sensual. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. I want to know what's happening. I mean, is this going to be something like, like he is like changing little things about his apartment and everything, just to, like see what happens, or like there's something. Are you gonna see the woman? Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Nancy? Sleep. Oh my god, are we gonna get all hostile in here? Also, is it weird? Wait, is that yeah. the, what? That's what I was gonna say. We're good to go, doctor. But then why would she try to give him a heads up? What is this? Or maybe what she is was this? trying to give him a heads up. Or it was we all part of the experiment. Did. We did swap your things. Dose your beer and pay your coworkers to call you a different name. Hey. A sick fucking experiment. Oh, no. I really like your record. Hmm. Isn't it fun? Stop! Stop! Oh! Stop, oh! Stop. Oh! Stop. Can we show this? Can we show this? Stop! No! Please stop! 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 What is that sound? I'll find out, Doctor. What are you smiling at? Yeah, what are you smiling at? Tell us. Got you. You mean got me? It's your card. Pardon? Your business card. You found it tacked on the bulletin. The communal areas of Robert Dugan, Jane Crimshaw's. <laughs> Apartment buildings. Stop it. After that, it's just a matter of making a fake identity, getting an apartment, and getting the job at the bank. It, will, it was all a ruse. People watched me for a while. But after I made the first call to get an appointment, we didn't know if you'd take the bait, but you did, didn't you? We? My colleagues from the special group for inquiries into demented and inhuman behavior. Oh my god. Oh my 
They got his ass. Oh shit! Get down! Get down! Yes! Yeah. Listen to them. Get down! Cam on your head. That's your Alex Spielberg. Get down on your knees. Get down. We are about to see this guy get it. No, we got you. We got you. Ooh. Damn, that was good. Ooh, this is a cool shirt right here. I would get that shirt sweater. That was insane. Mm -hmm. I love that. That was good. What were your thoughts? I did not see it coming that it was going to be like a double cross of a double cross at the end. Man, yeah. that was good. And now we have one more thing to cover. You know what it is. You know what time it's for. It is time for the Mandela catalogs. Yay! Also, guys, leave us your review of the last short. I would honestly love to see a full-fledged film about that. Mm -hmm. You know, but more in-depth and more uh, gag-worthy. I mean, um, you could really make that into a good heist movie. Yeah. Also, I am horrifying pointed out that the woman um, who is in the purple coat mm -hmm. is, I believe, the same woman who played the homeless woman in Terrifier. <gasps> what? Look at her getting booked and busy. All right. As you guys know, we have been this, on this journey of watching uh, the Mandela, Mandela, Mandela catalog, uh, catalog. And we have seen the last two. Um, versions of it which i think the last in the last two episodes mm -hmm. of scary streaming sundays we covered those we actually covered some little mini ones as well uh but today we are continuing our uh journey into this world with mandela catalog volume three 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 mm -hmm. and um dustin mentioned in the chat is there somewhere where we, where we can suggest short films for future streams and I think if you drop them in the comments, we'll just take a little note and we'll look into that. We You could also the, go to our Discord. That's the better option, guys. If you go to our Discord and join, it actually should be in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. If you go there, you can log in. There is going to be a live stream suggestion channel where you can go in there and suggest and even put links to the videos of short films that we should cover. Yeah, because it is possible if you put something in the comments here, we might miss it cubby holes the, Mad the madonna catalog oh my god I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get into this okay still spooky it's okay it's okay what's wrong honey it's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. Hey. Hey, what's up? You should crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the... No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not. I've had it unplugged for weeks now. Divorce. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Oh no. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. This is so creepy. What do you mean? Just like looking down this dark hallway. Do you Realize how young he is? I think that it'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated that there'll all be wars. All nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. I thought they said the TV was on But What about us? We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls as well as television programs. 
Oh, this is freaky. Three, three, three. All right. You know what? This screen is okay now because this was the opening to Beyonce's set. <laughs> Nothing but. I can never trust these. To say the least. I learned a lot about myself and. Uh, my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. Well, I may not be the most um, a spoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. All right. Okay. I feel like we should be writing notes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse. And we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to um, uh, three. Oh, it's three, three, three. Though. Make it, sure everything's all right. Isn't this from one it of the earlier volumes? Mark? Mark sounds familiar. Oh, if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you. And have a nice night. Uh, all right. Huh. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Is that just clouds? I'm hoping. I'm hoping it is just clouds. This is evil. I don't like the look of this. I hate. <gasps> the cops. Oh, and in the, in the chat, up. people are saying that Mark is from the first one who went to Cesar's house. Police, open the door. Nick says, boo, says, I want to know which one of y'all thought it was okay to put oh whatever that God, creature no. is up in that thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was me. I'm sorry, Nick. Also, hey, Nick. Hello. We love you. But that was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, this looks fucking crazy. <gasps> oh, we're, we're, we're going to get demonetized now. <laughs> July 24th. That was recently. See, now just regular box TVs are fucking scary. <laughs> like, just playing on static. Is this cop doomed? I mean, maybe. I also feel like I shouldn't have picked that up without gloves. <laughs> Bible uh, reassurances. Hmm. God bless all. You do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I got a lead. Oh, sure. okay. oh, so is this the guy that we just saw? Maybe. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. All right. Lock the door on the way out. All right. Friends 
present on item 12, doorknob. And little tiny, tiny little fingerprints. So that's Mark. Yeah. Or is that Caesar? No, that's Mark. Caesar was probably before. Yeah, so Caesar's hands were on the doorknob. We're probably going to see what the hell we've been seeing. Shadow under the door? Oh, no. Are we going to see? Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine lying in bed and you're the only one who lives by yourself. Yeah. <gasps> Did it float? Get out, get out, burn the house down. What did that say? It was just a tape. Of course, mm. we, we just need to know the voice, voices. He needs to open the door. No. Nope. No. I physically want to just crumble. I, uh, I in fact, I do not. I am not going away. Bring the beat in. Doom, 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 oh doom, 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 Those fucking things creep the crap out of me. Uh huh. Points of interest. Okay. I am horrifying. Says mommies with the maggots now vibes. Mommies with maggots. God, God loves, loves me unconditionally. Always, always remember, remember that. that. No matter the circumstances, God loves all of us simply because He has chosen to do so. He loves me when no one else loves me. I am at peace. Huh. Today is a day that I need God's love more than anything. I am alone and need to feel the warmth of his love and reassurance. <clears throat> Brittany Cox, I should not have watched this alone in my house at night. Girl, right? I feel you. I'm we're so glad that we're, we live together. <laughs> my Lord, I am afraid. I beg for your love and protection against evil. There's this noise coming in really strong in the background. Yeah. I have no chance. The cops never came for me. Nobody came for me. Whoever is reading this, please stop it before it does this to anyone else. Why? Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, I can't read that. No, don't know what that says. Retrovisco says, I'm starting to think my cats aren't real. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> my eyes are wide open. My eyes are wide open. Issued by police department, alternate report, Caesar Torres, 18 years old, may display human, inhuman features. Also, Mark is just like wandering around. This is so odd. This is like a cartoon brick wall with like just real clouds. Murray versus uh, altercation evidence real case 003334. All right. <laughs> What? All right, Mr. Davis, I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in, along with your request note. 
I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response. Send me another letter. Hmm. Oh, hello. How'd they get that picture of me? The might of the subconscious. Subconscious. Yes. Okay. Hello. <gasps> Can you hear me? Oh. Nope. Cannot. It's on each ear. Oh, hello. Oh, it's face now, from Nick. You from may Baby be Nick. Nick Jr. Who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? Hey girl, Servio. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one too. I don't want to be your friend, so don't I even like consider. Friends. How many friends do you have? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Would you like to know a secret of mine? Nope. Maybe. No. I can make friends appear out of thin air. That's great. What was that? You want to know how? Did not ask that. We didn't know. We didn't say well, that. I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. You're, I don't know you. I don't know you. Great. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? Hey. What do they look like? Uh, what color eyes do they have? Purple. Always remember the most important rule. Okay. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to be, it is best to be, it is best Manifest it, just as it. scared uh -huh. as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Are you trying to get me killed? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Mm, I'm good. Now just close your eyes nope. and think really hard about your new friend. I'm not closing my eyes. Can I'm not you keep an even bigger secret? I don't know. No. I think it worked. <gasps> What's that mean? Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Oh, fuck. Oh! No. God! It's up to you to go and find them. Nope. I, uh -uh. Why did we do this? Why did we do this? You. You did this to us. Thatcher Davis. Ooh, Thatcher Davis. 911, what's the emergency? Please, you gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what to get inside. I have to make noise and wait those locks for me. Alright, alright, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. Just need to stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. Is this person threatening you or your family? No, he just. Stairs in the corner. Ah, uh, no. He's just standing there. Get out. What? I think my wife is hurt. <gasps> I don't know what to do. It's gonna be fine. You need to calm down. Look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything oh. like him. <laughs> that can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I have the month. I just got a 1015. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um. What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? We just heard something downstairs. Although, it's probably our ice maker. Okay. The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Okay. Um, what's the address? What is this? 
What is this slideshow? I'm so nervous. It's the same picture. Nothing of interest came out of the automated camera setup. We'll need to resort to an in-home inspection with Weaver as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Tall Agent Trick, always the skeptic. <laughs> I emptied out the ice tray earlier. That is why I think that. Do you hear that? It's music. This is me when I'm home alone, just like singing, top of my lungs. He does sing in the shower. I will I will say that. <gasps> what? <laughs> No, oh, no. Weaver, we don't because everyone Damn. else fucking left. Sorry. Got 1056. Fuck. Camera. Oh. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver. Hello? Jesus Christ! Hello? Identify yourself. Identify yourself. That's a big no-no. You gotta get out. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Look. Get out, bro. Yeah, you should leave. Get out. What do you want? God, I hate those sounds. Uh uh. Come on, come on. Stop it. Stop this right now. Go to, the, go to the next, next segment. Go! <gasps> <laughs> Ruth, if you're still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. Oh my god. My heart is beating so fast. Oh my god. Did Thatcher get away at least? I don't know. Girl, those footsteps, it sounded like they were coming at us. In, in, listen to this in earphones because. Wait. 1078. Question back up. Thatcher wasn't at the house, Ruth was. I thought we were Thatcher in the house. No, I don't think so. I think we might have been like. Requesting assistance from available by phone units. We were working from. We were like through the camera. through the camera, and we were like on the radio with her. <gasps> Do not like. What is this? Imagine it, it, it then goes into like a, a camera footage of our house. This is not right. Wouldn't that fucking be crazy? Identify yourself. Identify this yourself. Dr. Davis, MCPD. 1018, requesting assistance from available workshop units. Workshop? I don't know what that is. Oh, 
Uh huh. There's something over there. <sighs> Why did we do this? Why did this just get so scary all of a sudden? Cubbyhole says it shows a picture of your ice maker. <laughs> oh no! Ah! What? What? We hear it outside the police station now. Are there any available units in this area? The door was open. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> is this the camera on Ruth's? Yeah, because they're entering. Oh. <gasps> oh! No! Decision Thatcher. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh my god. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh. No. For the two of us, Lieutenant. <gasps> Thatcher died. Do not like. <gasps> God, God, God. Uh -uh. Oh, my God. Thank God it's over. Hold up. Hold up. Uh uh. We need, we need, we need a palate cleanser, guys. Because that was too much. That was too much. <laughs> All right. Ready for a palate cleanser, guys? <sighs> okay. All right. This is better. Everything is good. We've survived it. Except one of those puppies are alters. No! No, these are cute puppies! These are cute puppies. All of them are innocent. Just absorb the puppies. Look, this one's wearing a blue collar and an orange collar. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, be decent. <laughs> Ah, look at this little puppers. Look at this little, oh God, such a cutie. Ah, hi, hi. Okay, okay, I think we're good. <sighs> Let's head back to, all right guys. Hold on, let me get out of here. Um, I think we did what we needed to do. What did you think of that recent installment of Mandela catalog. I mean, genuinely very, very creepy. Um, Would you say that was the creepiest one of all? Yes. I do think, I listen, I think they 
they got some budget. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I feel like they have more money this time. Now they have like entities just like coming at you. Like mm -hmm. Selena was, and Titties. Selena and Titties was on screen. Um, she, they, it, this was just a different level, I think. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yes. I um, agree. But I, like, I'm still gathering the story. This one I liked because it kind of felt like it continued the story from the first one. Yes. Um, still fucking scary. And I think whoever the creators are, are doing such a good job at yeah. just giving us like, because I thought it was going to be the same old, same old, but this was a little different. Well, and it entered the realm of found footage. Well, now we know that like it's just more confirmation because in the first one, I remember it was like a police training video, right? Yeah. It, like told you about the alternates and everything. And this you can see like the police are actually paying attention, but now the police got got. So the police got got. All right. Guys, we are gonna take a little break. Take a little break. And then game and then mortuary assistant or mortuary assistant. I say launch right into mortuary assistant. I feel like this is a game we have I to commit some time to. <laughs> um, all right. We're gonna come back. Oh, also, I do think Mandel I still think, and I know you guys in the chat last week did not didn't said that it shouldn't be a movie, but I still think they should make this movie this should make this into like a full length movie. But the thing is it's there were parts of that that I literally was like I can't handle anymore, you know. Yeah. Like it was like such a fucking disturbing thing to see that I was like I need this off my screen. I will say I disagree with you. I think that it. I think that these are more effective as shorts that you have breaks in between as a full length movie. I feel like oh, it might I suffer. Would, I would a little bit. love to see it in like big screen blasting sound and like having a whole bunch of people like in the theater you know um but yes i do say i do think that wearing headphones while watching these is very effective mm -hmm. because those footsteps and the knocks because yeah. oh and they're strategically when they played one part you only heard it from one ear and then the other ear it was kind of creepy anyways we're going to be taking a break we're going to come back and we're going to continue Stay tuned. We'll be back.
Right, everybody, we are back. Thank you so much for staying put for everyone who's on the live right now. Um, hopefully you had some good times chatting up. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so we think that we are going to be starting from the beginning, right? Yeah, so it's been a while since we played Mortuary's Assistant, and I think it might just be easiest to start from scratch and relearn the game. Yeah. And so ignore us uh, playing the game in the oh, a few episodes ago. So we are going to play it again. Um, and Cody is going to be leading this one. Yes. 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 So also, tall Asian chick, you got gays talking about douching. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, when we opened this game up before we started sharing it, there was a nice little pop-up window that we didn't notice before that mentioned I noticed. something about uh, that this is apparently based on real paranormal events and that studies have shown that paranormal events increase the more like scared and emotionally heightened you are. So if you experience any paranormal events after playing, or I guess in all of your case watching the game, you should reach out to... You know, your local paranormal investigators. Uh, we will not be doing that, unfortunately. But we are going to be playing this game. Um, and let's get into it, right? All right. Shift completed, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Yeah. New shift, right? Yep. New shift. Yeah? I think so, yeah. All right. All right. We got to experience the beginning again, though. All right, do you want to? Yeah. Let's, let's move our cysts or little, like, move ourselves around a little bit. I think there's a cord caught on something. Let me let's see. Look at us being messy. I think we can just push this back and I'll have the. These are things we probably could have done before we started. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> We're messy bitches. All right. I can't ever go around. Ah, go. Now, I, if you guys haven't noticed already, just kidding. If you guys haven't noticed already, um, I am very sensitive to um, first person games. Um, I do get nauseous. So I think you guys saw me take a pill that was ginger to help me with that, as well as I have a little like thing in my arm to help me with nausea. <laughs> nausea. Um, so hopefully I don't get nauseous, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. So I think we gotta get our keys and go, right? Uh, you bum, uh, simps, you said that last stream, I think. Yeah, I just want to remind people, just in case if they see me, like, <laughs> um, or looking away, that's why. Um, but someone said, I have the same thing with motion blur. Yeah, I mean, with third person games, it's usually pretty good. I guess they just started us. Like, hopefully they tell us what to do because that's the reason why we start restarting everything. <laughs> I miss from Killer Frequency being able to throw. All right, so we got some coffee. Okay, got a matchbox. You okay with the thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we had originally intended to restart the whole game, restart but whole I game. think they're just like here. Okay, I'm good. Thanks. Does that help?
For a second, I thought there was someone outside the door, but... Monster says, also the same, can't do first-person point-of-view games. Yeah, I mean, I think if I'm playing it, but I... Uh, we already turned down the sensitivity to this game to make it a little bit easier for my eyes. Um, ooh, Gorge, Gorgina. Um, but third-person games, I am pretty okay with it. I've played many games, like The Last of Us. Played that whole game, was perfectly fine. Um, so we'll see. But on another topic, guess what, guys? We just got a new PC. A much... Um, it's meant to kind of... We, we built it around a way to, like... What the fuck? Why did you do that? Oh, wait. Let's see. Oh, okay. We looking good. We're looking mm -hmm. busty. I love it. <laughs> um, but... We got a brand new PC that's coming in the next week or so. It's built to like, handle very, you know, powerful games like Resident Evils, all the Resident Evils. Um, I already have. I already have one of those. All right, fine. Um, so hopefully it comes in soon. So we are probably gonna be able to play all those other games without it lagging so much. So if there's any lag in this game for today, we're still working off our computer that doesn't ha doesn't quite handle that much. Um, but hopefully we're gonna get some better looking streams down the line. Monster, woo woo, congrats, thank you. Uh, LSV Gaming says, hey, has there been a movie that made you walk out or turned it off? Oh. Okay. Keep track of things. The only one that comes to mind, and that's only because Cody was still getting into the gist of horror movies, uh, was Unfriended. Yes. Cody got very, very scared. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until okay. the night shift data. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the mark. Sorry, I'm trying to. What is it? Controls. Just got to remind myself how to oh. do everything. Uh, yeah, it was unfriended. And we eventually, because we went on another podcast to cover the game, I mean, the, the movie. We rewatched the whole thing, and Cody was able to watch the whole thing. So yes, was I was. Um, EJ says, I discovered y'all recently, and I love watching your reactions to horror movies. Will you ever watch the Paranormal Activity movies? We have. We actually have a, a few podcast episodes on all of them except the Ghost Dimension. We have not seen that one. Um, but if you want to hear our thoughts on it, go over to our podcast. We cover Paranormal Activity 1 through 5, I believe. Yes. Or... Yeah, one through five. Mm -hmm. Yumbum Sim says, I get a Cody. I had it playing in my room and watched it from my hallway. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, Play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. All right. Girl, who is knocking like that? Uh uh. Oh, there's not anyone here. You always love to go outside. Like, you just like, fuck it. Let's just go outside. Wait, can and I run away now? No! Can I just, I'll just get in my car. Uh, just leave a little note. I quit. Sorry. No, if I remember this correctly, the guy's like, well, now they're attached to you, so... Tall agent chick says, that real game engine shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we are like currently if we played it, the lag would be unbearable like any other game. So, you know, we 
we want to we want to get better streams out of it because we're going to do it more often and cody uh down the line is going to be doing some uh some nerdy shit yeah he's, some fun non-scary things non-scary things he's going to be playing some pokemon and he's going to be playing some other fun games that are probably along the lines of pokemon he tells me all the time how he like plays pokemon on like certain things um i don't i don't know it but he will be playing those as well but he also plays games like um uh, like jedi jedi something and yep. look i don't know i don't know <laughs> but he but in order to do that we have to get a new pc that can handle the workload so that's coming up in the next few weeks but we'll let you guys know when that change happens Oh, this is my part, because I get to act. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. LSV Gaming, are there some movies that you haven't seen in a long time that you would like to revisit? Ooh. That is a very good question. You know which ones? Uh, I've talked about how Night of the Demons is one of my favorite uh, movies. And um, one of my favorite horror movies because they're just so cheesy. And it's a slasher and it has demons. It has just everything. But apparently there's the Blu-ray copies. And they haven't been released in Blu-ray yet. Uh, of Night of the Demons 2 and Night of the Demons 3. Uh, those are they're not good movies. But they're still like nostalgic for me. So... I can't wait to watch those once the Blu-ray comes out. Oh, no Yoon Bum Simp. Oscars are being thrown as we speak. Oh. Oh, this is uh, Zoe still, right? Yes. Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive. I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. For, for, thing. I am horrifying. I am horrifying. It says, why did you sound like Mae West though? Oh, why don't you come and see me sometime? Oh, Will, hi. Hey, well, oh my God, I sounded so annoying. <laughs> hi. All right. Oh, and you know what's weird? And I still don't get it. It's like me is that youtube requires a lot a lot of our system to work properly it must be bound to its chosen body and burned the three objects in this cabinet are okay i know one rule that people First, kept saying is that we need to do that in, in a lot of places the mark. placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration can't hold anything else spell the demon's name second the bottles on the top shelf i can't hold any, I can't hold anything else that will react to the Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct I can't body, use that here. with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. It Once looks you like you can hold more things. Bound to its vessel, it does, doesn't it? Burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. Must inscribe the sigils of its oh, name in our world to begin the evocation. <gasps> the lights. You will need to you uncover wanna... these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. What is your you goal right now? Sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. I'm trying to remember use that knowledge to create the mark. what I got to do. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, 
Burn it in the retort. Okay, so let's get a body. Let's start bodying things up. Look, there we go. Okay. All right, time to get me bodied. Get me bodied. Get me bodied. Um. Small fact also, I am scared. I'm actually scared of a lot of things. I'm scared of oceans. I'm scared of heights. Oh, do you guys want to know a story about the Beyonce costume? This is great. Go ahead and tell them. It's embarrassing, honestly. Um, but you let me know. You know what? I won't I won't I won't spill the tea just yet. LSV Gaming said, um, has there been movies that you guys thought were bad but turned out to be really good? Uh, LSV Gaming, your questions are amazing. Thank you so much for asking these questions. Um, have there been you guys thought were bad but turned out good? Not to be shady, but I thought Insidious was going to be bad. I Look up. Okay, yeah, I thought Insidious was gonna be bad just because, I don't know, I had this like thought that all movies at that time that came out were just like a bunch of hocus pocus. Um, but it turned out really good. I really liked it. Uh, Diazadis says, hello, hola, hola, hola. I almost said hello, hello. Uh, I'm so glad y'all are playing this again. Thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, too much to bear. Be gone, demons! Also, yeah, we are... I don't know why we're slowly moving this, but... This is how it goes. This is how it be. Okay, Yoonbum Simp says, yes, spill it. Okay, so I am deathly afraid of heights. I've learned. I've recently, in my older years, um, I've learned that I'm afraid of heights. And we, we had really bad seats. Not really bad seats. It, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Oh they my god. They were his birthday present. They were, <laughs> no, they were not bad seats. They were just on the third level, all the way in the back, and I thought that was fine. I, we were just gonna be there. It was gonna be fun. Um, Wait, what do I gotta do when the lighting strip burns? Pause. We need to do something. We need to press something. Banish a demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a oh, is that this one? night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. I should look for a mark, right? All the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the if you ever forget oh, hey. what to do, there we play these tapes. Looks like a nine. Want to write this down? The collection oh, of demonic Sorry. names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal this belongings nine? drawer. On yeah, we'll copy the symbol. Oh, shit. I got a draw now? Yes. Okay. Cody has me drawing and shit. Yep. Um, <laughs> so heights. Okay. So I thought it was going to be fine. It was going to be great. We're, I'm just going to the Beyonce concert. We we're going to live it up. And we did. So what ended up happening is we went to the third level. I sat my ass down and looked at how fucking steep this seat was and looked at how high we were. And I freaked out cody will tell you like once we sat down i was gripping onto cody i was like in shock like i couldn't move mm -hmm. and the more that people were coming in and how tight we were i was like i feel trapped and i'm gonna hyperventilate and then in that moment i was like creaking shit nah um and so, in that moment, I was like, I'm not going to get to see Beyonce. I'm going to let down Cody. Cody's not going to be able to see Beyonce. Cody doesn't care. He was fine in that scene, right? Yeah. I've been in stadiums before. I uh, 
while there is like the little thought in my head of like, sure, could I like tumble forward and fall forever and die? Yeah, but well, because I'm probably like, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to twerk my body to like Beyonce and not think about plummeting to my death. Um, so we went out and I was having like an existential crisis, not really, but just like a, a moment, and. I decided, I, I asked someone to like, is there a like screen where I can like watch it from maybe like in the corner? Um, and they said no, but to talk to guest services. And the guest services lady was so freaking nice. They like immediately placed us on like a platform and on the second floor of the, of the venue, right in front. And they were, much better seats i'm not saying that that's gonna work guys i'm just saying well i mean do do not we are not we are not saying that that's a trick it just happened to work out yeah, in our don't case. don't go out and and get seats and then try to fake a phobia no 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 no. the the guest service lady was very very nice to us um and she could tell that i was fucking spooked yeah i mean it, it's no different than like if somebody did you just like circle around her boob you sicko no. Sicko. I, I literally have to record markings on this person's body. Um, but I will say MetLife was good because they were able to accommodate that. In the same way as if we were, like, for some other reason, unable to access our seats. There we go. Oh, is that everything? Did I get everything? I guess so. Look at the chart. Yeah. Enter markings into computer. Bitch. I like my lights on. All right. Let's go enter this shit into the computer. Uh, pause. Let me do something real quick. Okay. Uh, let's see if this works, but hold on. Jay Tyler says, what's Cody's biggest fear? Oh, that's a good question. Cody's pretty, pretty fearless. I wouldn't say that at all. Um, spiders, spiders up there. Don't like. Sorry, guys, we're lowering the resolution just a little bit to make it a little smoother. Does that make it? Yep. I'm horrifying. Uh, with all that money, that phobia would have disappeared for that night real quick. Girl, I thought I thought I had it. I, I did not have it in me. I'm sorry. I, th I did try, though, right? We did. I did try. We went, we went back up, and then it was like, Nope, can't do it. I was like, I'm gonna oh, die. Wait. Before we do this, we should let me go get the passcode because it takes like five minutes to turn over something in this game. Let me get you the passcode. Uh, Jay Tyler, I'm scared of getting stuck in tight places. Like watching people in caves is terrifying. That is terrifying. Ooh. Claustrophobia. I'm such a mess. I have. You have claustrophobia too. I have claustrophobia. I have heightsophobia. I have. Um, Spider phobia. Six nine seven three. Arachnophobia. That's what's called. But I don't know that I would say like I have arachnophobia. Like spiders are very scary. I'm not like a huge fan of heights, but certainly not to like the extent that that you have it. Yeah. I mean, listen. I'm a, I'm afraid of a lot of things in, in real life, but I also love horror movies and love that thrill without actually like sensing the fear but cody can't do gore yeah, so you can't like you're we're gonna die we're gonna it's her name is jesse pineapple yep that is a stage name welcome to the stage jesse pineapple i'm tabor i'm spending my only day off with you guys you, you are so sweet so glad hopefully you're loving the stream and keeping you entertained 
Yumbum, what is that? I don't know what that is. Trypophobia? Trypophobia? Isn't that the fear of, like, holes? Is that? I've never... Listen. If it's the fear of holes, I... Um... Watch Incantation. That's all I'm going to say. Watch Incantation. Okay. If you if someone is afraid of holes... Oh, no. No. If you don't know, then go watch uh, Incantation, I and then you'll find out. I need to file the copy up front. Okay. Do you, though? I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. I How can't hold it? anything else. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything... Oh, by the way, we also increased the haunting aggressiveness because that's apparently a setting in this yes, game. Yes, we. Reina uh, Amaturi, who do you guys uh, think is the sexiest <laughs> actor in, the, M in huh? the MCU and why? The sexiest actor in the MCU and why? God, there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God, I'm literally blanking on his name, and it's a it's blasphemy on me. But Petro Pascal's like best friend. <gasps> Wait, hold the thing up. <gasps> Dad. <laughs> What did they say? Murder? Murderer, I think. Oh my God. Oscar Isaac, yes. He is now in the MCU, and I think he is so, so fucking sexy. I love him with a beard. With a beard is, mm. yeah. Oh, this is a really tough question. Um, I feel like you're gonna say Chris Evans. It's a usual pick. He's sexy. No, I was going to say, um, I cannot remember the actor's name because I'm awful with names. Well, where's he from? Who does from, he play? So he plays Killmonger. <gasps> oh my God, yes, because he was in uh, Us. Yes. Wait, no, not Killmonger. No, no not. So the, the actor who plays Killmonger, what is his name? I cannot remember his name. Siri, who is <laughs> who plays Killmonger? Michael B. Jordan. Yes. Yes. Mm. Sorry, I was thinking of the guy from Us, who is also very hot. But that's because he has thick thighs, and I love that. All right, what do we got to do? Wire jaw shut. I love a good wiring. See, you know. You know things. You remember. Okay, needle injector. What do I need? Injector and... Settings. Cool. Got it. D dubs. Thick thighs save lives. Yes. Oh my God. That one GIF I could see over and over again of him in us. He has, he's just like in his boxers. Um, but EJ Ambulo says, How about Pedro Pascal? Girl, if you know the channel, you know that we have a love for Pedro Pascal. The only thing is that he's not in the MCU, so we couldn't pick him, but I, he's always the pick. He's always the pick. Um, hopefully he'll be in the MCU soon. Rodan Recordings, y'all better not take long to deliver that Scream Queens finale. Yo, we've been getting threats for like, for, for videos. Girl, we promise it's gonna come out this weekend. Winston Duke, yes. Mm, That's yes. who it is, Winston Duke. Okay, what do you want, girl? Hello? Hello, Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? That almost sounded like me. Wait. Oh, <gasps> that's crazy. Uh, okay, I feel like I need to re listen to these tapes. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the 
reagent inside. It will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. Hmm. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They could be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. <laughs> Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Is that their uncover the sigils, build the mark, and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, So, do I just add the reagent to the embalming fluid every time? Because I don't know which body it is. You should have fucking died. I will spit your ass The night shift database. A computer <laughs> that is so cool! One That's so cool. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and... Okay. Let's go into the database. Maybe I've been playing too much Five Nights at Freddy's, but having the menu open for too long. It scares you because it's like. Okay, maybe. <gasps> what the ah! fuck? Oh my god! Wait, wait, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh my god! Did y'all see that? Oh my god. I thought we were doomed. Oh, Lord. I just can't remember like how do I know what which body is the right body? I mean I, that's the thing, like we just have to keep doing it. Okay. You know? But the, my point being, like... Like, we take this body, put it back, and then we have to do it another thing. Have we finished with his body? Uh, Diazari says, yes, uh, add the agent to all bodies. Ah, got it. Okay. Cool. Insert eye caps. Okay. Yumbum Sim says, have you guys ever watched The Walking Dead? I have, um, but Cody hasn't. I have not. So if you want... Oh, shit, sorry. 69732. So if you guys want Cody to react to it, let us know. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Okay. <clears throat> well, a little. While learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendencies tenancy requires paying close attention while any of the bodies can be manipulated it's far easier for the entity to control its own vessel sudden movements large or small can be a sign of tenancy if a body appears to be more active than others or strange markings start to appear it may be signs of demonic tenancy however the demon demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations on other bodies which is why it is important to take note of which body is experiencing these events this body is having a lot of hauntings isn't it mm -hmm. The, the more events linked to, linked to a specific body, the more likely it is to be the chosen vessel. The appearance of new markings on the body, sudden movements, large or small, repeat movements, it is one more active than the others. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it is occupying may form markings not pre previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important to be spotting these things. A body with a demonic inhabitation may display sudden movements. These movements can be as small as a twitch of the fingers or as large as full body manipulation. Do you want to press play? I need to watch that video. No, no, let's press play. Oh, no. Why not? Scary shit. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. 
Wait, did he have no right. head? Oh. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. He's a size 12, I can tell. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that's creepy. All right. Um, Holy stuff, gosh, I know. Cassie! Welcome back, Cassie. I'm sad I missed a lot. I'm at work right now. Well, no problem at all. Hope work is going well. Um, and hopefully you can catch up, you know, once once it's once it's out. We had a lot of fun today. Today mm -hmm. was, was, was really fun. Um, I've already died, Kiwi. Bitch! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I can't. You are dead. Stay dead, please. Maybe it's out on the front. Reina says, oh, by the way, happy late birthday, Sergio. Yes, it was Sergio's birthday yesterday. Say happy birthday, everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. Where All right, we? let's wait. Do you want to inspect the body again? I got to get eye caps. All right. Carlos says, how did you celebrate? Uh, we went to the Beyonce concert yesterday, mm -hmm. and we took the tequila shots in the parking lot. We did. <laughs> so <laughs> it was great. Mickey Ross and Jay Tyler says, happy birthday. Thank you so much. It's weird. Happy birthday. Hope you got some cool stuff. Honestly... I think getting ourselves a piece, a new PC mm -hmm. for for streaming is pretty cool. I, I think that was a great purchase that we made. Too much to bear. Oh, yeah. You look great for 25. <gasps> Ooh, thank you so much. You're my favorite. <laughs> Mix embalming fluid. Glutaraldehyde. What you call me? You heard me. Tissue builder. We need to like really inspect these so that way you can know which one is which. I'm Who? sorry, what? Who is that? Did you have the door open? Nope. No, I did not. You want to put up the thing? anything else okay we'll roll around well, I can't this doesn't do anything oh well no no I mean just like just look all over the place Curtis Elliott says, uh, happy birthday, living for the screen crew reactions. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. We love screen queens. Yung Bum Sim, this character is better than me. I would have left in a heartbeat. Yeah, but part of me feels like it's gonna, I'm gonna take this home with me. I'm like, <laughs> someone's gonna be haunting in my house. Literally. What? But there's no haunting thing. 
This is so creepy. This game is incredibly creepy. But do you think we should like put the put the aggressiveness of the hauntings all the way to the top? No. <laughs> right now we have it at middle. We can no. go. Th we can go to the other end. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep tonight. There we go. Cool. Cassie Luna, I would love to send a gift for your late birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. You really don't have to. Uh, but we do like want to set up a PO box if you guys want to send us stuff. Um, if that's a thing, we never ask of anything. But like, if you guys want something we can we can set up a PO box Jesus did you mark that what that scratch over there yeah it's four steps okay right, four steps Where's the tube? Oh, Diazadi says, I think the greater the hauntings, the less time. <gasps> oh! Yeah! Damn! <laughs> so what you're saying is by putting it halfway, Sergio has now made my life harder. Yeah, we made things a lot harder on us. So, because I think, like, I think it affects us, right? The more hauntings there is, the the more like the worse this gets so we need to like hurry up well I, I don't even know i know i know is. i know uh Castellina says yes please okay we'll we'll set something up and uh we'll probably send it in our discord or let you guys know next time in the stream ej happy birthday did you watch uh taylor swift when she was at medlife no i think she was in medlife last weekend i want to say but we caught Beyonce yesterday uh, at MetLife. Where's the tubing? That's hey, guys, when you say possession, does it mean like we're going to get possessed? Is that what it means? Well, no, the body is getting possessed. Oh, so we want to prevent the body from getting possessed. What's the eye caps? There's the tubing. It's back here. No, that's not it. Oh, too much to bear says it's going to possess you. Oh shit. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like, um, what's there's a game where it kind of like tests your sanity. There's the two thing. Okay. Uh, Shayanara Williams Simpson says you and the bodies. Yeah. So we gotta, we gotta, baby, baby. I'm, I'm trying. We gotta go. We gotta go. You're the one who turned up the difficulty on me. <gasps> oh, oh, that's God. us. That's us, I think. Hold the paper up. <gasps> oh, my God. She's gonna do a routine. Everybody. Oh, I think we're fucked. I think we're dead. I can't shut the doors either. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's the other way? Oh, the door is locked. Shit, 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 shit. Yes. Oh. Should we do the thing? This girl is too much. Yeah, that was rude. Jay Tyler says, I would also buy merch with your branding and ghosty. Girl, we do, we do actually have uh, merch. We if, do. If you go to our website, www.thehorrorbandwagon.com, there is a merch tab. <gasps> that scared the crap out of me. Okay, we'll let you know in a little bit. Wait. 
Go back, go back. Back, back, no. back. <gasps> Alright. Where is it? Ah. Do I need to draw that? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Read the comments. Alright. Uh, Amos says, girl, Cody's going to get possessed, probably. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest not to. Um, Nani says, happy late birthday, King. Glad you guys made it after seeing Queen Bee yesterday. Thank you so much. It was so good. Such a good show. Ooh, uh, Shinario says, scribble on a paper to see how far along you are. That's a good idea. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wait, no. I think it's at the, in the beginning, right? In the, in the office. Yeah. Uh, Yoonbum Sim says, I gotta go. My phone is dying and I have been robbed of a charger. Stay safe, y'all. Oh, man. Thank you so much for joining us, Brute Yoonbum. We hope to see you next week. Oh, somebody said screenshot it with a phone. That's probably smarter. <laughs> but look, I have my drawings in my little Chucky pad. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Jay Tyler, I enjoyed Until Dawn. Honestly, um, we have we haven't finished Until Dawn, but we would love to go back because that's such a decision-based game. Um, so once we get the new PC and are able to kind of play the game, um, we'll probably play Until Dawn. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for Scary Streaming Sundays mm -hmm. because we got a lot more games coming up. We want to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, um, when Rebecca. it comes out. Nope. So stick around, guys. Oh my oh! god. Rebecca. Hey, girl. Hey, you don't look so good. Do you want to do the thingy? Ah! You bitch. <gasps> Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Can you hold the thing up? No. I don't have it. Ah! Oh, you bitch! No, you yoy! I already used up my last lighting paper. I needed to get another one first. All right, well, let's... Did we test our sanity? That doesn't look like we're sane. Well, I thought we were supposed to, like... At every moment, the demon is funneling. A demonic entity yeah, so the mouse. putting the aggressiveness of the, the hauntings you are from possession, up the more time you have makes it harder on the closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Um, allowing you the information to guess its name. Definition says, A, is the podcast coming back? Yes, we have some ideas for collaborations, and we just need ideas of podcast Don't episodes. It, so if you guys want to let us know what kind of podcast episodes we can we should cover, let us know. Um, B, where can strange. I get the stab sweatshirt in your recent Scream Queens bed? There's a Ooh. notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. So there's no helping our sanity. It's... Fuck. Gonna ignore it. We need to finish this process. Otherwise, we're, we're never going to, like, win. Um... I got it from this this um, creator called the Horror Film Club. Look them up on Etsy. They have a lot of great uh, merch. And they, they, that's where we got our Scream Queen sweatshirt, our uh, Camp Crystal Lake uh, sweatshirt. Look them up there. Maddie Mucci says, happy birthday. I've been watching you guys for a long time. Love you so much. Thank you so much, guys. We love you too. There we go. And thank you for the birthday wish. Uh, J. Tyler, we love hanging out with you guys on Sundays. This has been amazing, like our best internet friends. Yes, that's what we want. That's honestly the, you know, what we the goal for these for these streams. Mm -hmm. um, Dustin says, "Do you guys like going to haunted houses?" Wow, I cannot say that right. Haunted houses during the Halloween season. I do. I love them. Cody goes because he loves me. Uh, um, <laughs> welcome to my nightmare. Oh, welcome, Jesse E, new subscriber. 
Um, like, we're going to Halloween Horror Nights. And it's going to be amazing because it seems like they got a lot of good houses this year. Everything looks a lot hazier. Yep. Oh, because we were experiencing a haunting. Okay. All right. I missed what he said about the, every moment, the demon is funneling scribbles. Wait, let's go to the notepad. Why we? Why we? Why haven't we gone to the notepad? We we have. This is the notepad. No, but they said go to the front desk for a notepad. Yeah, I picked it up and now it's in oh. my inventory. Got it. Yes, exfoliation. All right. Is it done? I'm done with this shit. <laughs> It's so dark. I don't know. Okay. Christian says, I've caught up on your Screen Queens reactions today. I mean, Chef's Kiss. Thank you so much for checking them out. We've been having such a blast with that show. Mm -hmm. And we were surprised. We, we didn't know if everyone was going to be, you know, wanting us to react to a show from like 2015, but it's been so, it's been so fun. Raina says, will you guys be re-watching the Saw movie franchise in time for the new movie? We actually haven't seen the uh, franchise movies, so we are going to be checking those out. We're going to give you first-time reaction reactions uh, for the Saw movies. I mean, we saw the first one. We, we saw the first Saw movie. All right. That was unnecessary. I thought we died. All right, so it looks the same. No, we need to get a new pad. I don't know that we do. I feel like we do. Christian says, your reactions made me buy the show on Voodoo so I could rewatch. Yes! Oh, see, we can't. It was right here. We can't get a new one. Okay, good. I think we just... We're not possessed yet. Cool. Oh, this game. This game I don't like. Hi. All right. So next we're going to do this bitch because she just couldn't keep her door shut. She was so excited. Girl, you're coming in hot. Listen. Uh, you know what I could really use right now? Um... A those, shot? No, those nerds, <laughs> nerds clusters. Oh yes. I would. I really want some candy. Oh, what's that song by Many More? I'm missing you. I'm missing you like candy. Missing you like candy. <gasps> Did I see something? I thought I saw something, but it might have just been me. Uh, <laughs> Raina, lesson number one, don't piss off Cody. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we learned. Oh, one other thing of um, advertising, and not advertising, but like of promoting. Uh, we are going to be on Shuttle <laughs> Streamlabs. Streamlabs is g going in. Um, I think they just said it's either hell or piss. 
I don't know why. Guys, so sorry about Streamlabs being a little bit of a stickler there. Um, because we also use foul language. So, like, we can't. Yep. <laughs> um, but we are going to be on Chuddle the Podcast. Uh, oh, there's a haunting. Where? But it doesn't let <gasps> me interact with the body. <sighs> awesome. How do we get rid of those? We have to find the demon and banish it. How do we find it? <sighs> well, we have to... Embalm it? Yeah. <gasps> Why? No! <laughs> yeah, for whoever said they should make an autopsy of Jane Doe game, that's basically this. Girl literally is like, get your get 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 oh get 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 oh, I'm a slave for you. I mean, uh, I don't know the words because I'm bad with words. <laughs> All right. Okay, as I was saying. We're, we're covering Final Destination. We're watching the movies because we are covering it with the boys over at Chuddle the Pod. Listen to their podcast over on the podcast. Um, we are, this this next one that's coming out, it's going to be coming out next, actually in August. Mm -hmm. uh, we are covering Final Destination 3. So. There we go. People make up stories. Death <gasps> is a scary thing to a lot of people. Oh! No one's involving any ghost bodies or whatever. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. What happened? We getting possessed. Uh, no! It changed. What do we do? Okay, we got to do this quick. We got to do this quick. She's panting. She's not good. Jay Tyler says, yes, I love the Final Destination movies. I want another one. Uh, they are. They're coming out with a new one soon. You know what's weird? They're coming out with a Final Destination one. There's, they're going to come out with another Paranormal Activity movie soon. Like, it's a great it's a great time to be a horror fan. Too much to bear. About to get this demon inside me. Uh, yeah, we ain't, we ain't doing so good. I'm going as fast as I can. It took me a little while to- Oh! Oh, shit! No! Oh, you bitch! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. <sighs> I'm missing you. Because, like, part of the problem is that I can't do anything until I have all the demons. All gone. Yeah. I'm missing you like candy. Missing you like candy. All right. Let's take care of this woman. Oh my god, adrenaline rush. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? We're gonna have to look up, babe. pockets are full. We're gonna have to look up, babe. Look, use the notepad. See where we're at. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hear it down the hall. Adrenaline. It's just adrenaline. trying to distract me. It is. All right. Yikes. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Back. Going. I'm missing something. I, I I'm missing something. Yes, you are. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Keep focused. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Oh! Shit! Shit! <laughs> that, that guy is scary. It looks like Jimbo. Oh my god, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fucking Jimbo. Okay. All right, well, I need to mix some balming fluid, okay. All right, let's go. We got this. We're on a roll. Come on. No fucking person is going to get us. Nope, not that. From out of hide. I'm missing you. I'm missing you like candy. Yeah. You wrecked it. Missing you like candy. So I'm stuck in my head now, guys. I'm sorry. Good around my head. Monster says you got this booze. Thank you so much. We're gonna we're gonna need the support. This is too much. <laughs> okay, now I need the tubes. How do you win this game? Like, what is the, well, what is the goal here? The goal is to uh, just like deep possess all these bodies. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, come here. Come here no. now. <gasps> oh no. Am I possessed now? Oh, that's us moving? We Mom. this is us moving or the game? This is me. I'm moving. <gasps> Wait, look, 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 look. Oh no, that's we already found that. Before. <gasps> you stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lightless. Lightless. Oh. You wake up. Oh. oh, that's not good. Can We're getting possessed. We're getting possessed. Let's let's get out of here. I will say these possessions. Need more wine. Take out the tubes. Oh, there's a fucking haunting, isn't there? It's your grandma. Where? I oh! To visit you. Don't you miss me? I bought you something. No, I don't want it. I'm good. I thought maybe you could slit your wrist for me. <gasps> Just a little cut. Come on, Rebecca. Come on, Rebecca. Get out of it. Get out of it. What's wrong, Rebecca? <laughs> Don't be afraid of your grandpa! No! <laughs> Get away! This can't be good. This poor girl. I know. There's only so much we can do. Okay, we're still good. Not good, but... I'm going as fast as I can. Remind me what I gotta do. Empty IV bag. Okay. I gotta come over here.
Ugh. Moisturizer. Well, that's okay. Where? Yeah. All right. My job. Miles Morales, this live now? Yes, it is. Yeah, we live. We live. We see you. Alright. James E. Cat. Oh my god, I made it. Welcome. We are freaking the fuck out. Oh! <gasps> fuck. No! We were about to put you away! Oh. Hey, girl. Do I have to walk into it? I think so. We have to confront it. All right, she's back on the table. All right, let's get her. Let's get her, let's get her back. Sure let's get her back. There's no new markings. Okay. What else do I need to do? Moisturize me. Sin says, I just know I'm super late. Hey, no problem, Sin. Welcome, welcome. We've been live for three hours. But we are playing Mortuary's Assistant. We saw some short films. Right. We saw some Mandela catalog, and we were fucking scared mm. as fuck. Um, so if you want to rewatch that, you can. But right now we're trying. We're just trying to survive. We're just trying to survive Mortuary's Assistant. We have not yet found the body that is possessed. This isn't it. No. What? Because remember. The, like there are changes to the body it's not just things happen around it oh i mean there's only so many bodies left okay go back to sleep let's just check you out Sure, there's nothing weird or strange. Jay Tyler, the bodies are the scariest part. I feel. Yeah. Wait, why don't you put that body back in? Oh, that's our dog. What's up, you whore? <gasps> God. All right. Oh no, I thought I saw something. I also think depending on which demon it is, the haunt changes. Okay, let's put this girl back in. I just did. And we're opening the one where the marking was on. Yes. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. James the Cat says, why does this game have a morgue in it? Because this is the Mortuary's Assistant. And we're at a morgue. Uh, fuck, is there another haunting? Usually when it, oh, there we go. We just can't maneuver it for some reason. Yeah. It's so hard. Oh. 
Okay. Now I need another letting strip. Let's take another tour and see. Stone at Buck says, I hope you're having a great weekend, Cody and Sergio. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are. James and Cat Cody, you seem a bit scared. Only a little. Just a little scared, Cody. <sighs> right, let me see. All right, we're not any more possessed yet. I feel like it's coming, though. I don't think we're going to win this game. I don't think so either. Because we don't know which body is. We did it three hours out. Do you want to break now? No, well, let's go a little further. Sure. All right. What's up, dude? Love this game, y'all. Hope y'all having a fun by Strike uh, Strike Aids. Um, yeah. We are having fun. <laughs> we are having a time. We're trying to have as much fun as we can. We're having a time. Okay. So. Nothing. Let's look at, look at the hands. Look at the, there's, there's something on the hand. Oh, yeah, there is. Let me go back and get it. Nope, never mind. Oh, maybe that's just me. Okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. All right, who called RuPaul's Drag Race season one? Yeah. All right. All right, there's still some more marks to be, to be marked. There we go. Cool. This game is rude over here scaring us. So I think we are going to call it a night. Let's, yeah, let's put this back. Okay. And then we will resume next. Oh, fuck oh, you. Oh, shit. <gasps> hey, girl. Bye. All right, so we will attend next week and to banish this demon. Yeah. Without being taken over ourselves. Yep, oh. we're. It's, it's happening. It's happening. Let's save. All right. Can we? Where's the save button? Uh, um, I don't think there's a save button. I think we just. Leave. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then next time we just continue. Oh my God! All right, let's. Oh. The soundtrack sounds like it's from like a haunted house. Yeah. See, this is what we saw. Where it says like if you're playing if after you're playing this game you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. This is not of course, necessary. Cody is going to be fucking scared. Yeah. All right, let's move over. All right, Woo. everybody. That 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 pretty much windows down our scary streaming Sundays for today. As you guys know, we usually like reach 
three hours mm -hmm. um, for these. But as we said before, uh, we are aiming to. Sorry, I just want to make sure I can. So as we said before, we actually are probably going to be streaming a lot more once we have this new PC uh, that can handle a little bit more uh, work from other games. Mm -hmm. um, and so once we do that, we are probably going to stream a little bit more. We'll have st we'll still have scary streaming Sundays, but maybe we'll have like a more chill night. You'll also have uh, days uh, where Cody is going to stream. Mm -hmm. That probably will be on Twitch, right? Probably, yeah. Probably on Twitch. So we'll let you know once Cody's. Uh, streaming channel is going to go live um but yeah thank you again for joining us for another scary streaming sunday this one was by far the scariest i think yes. this one we experienced a lot of scary elements yeah. to everything both the gaming and also uh videos that we watched uh jay tyler says stay amazing guys happy late birthday again thank you so much love hanging out and your videos so excited for your new pc we are too yes, we, we can't are. wait to have it set up and we can finally play like all these other scary games too and also some third person uh games that i can play so that way i'm not gonna be nauseous mm -hmm. steve Gardner, love you guys thank you so much steve you're amazing jamesy cat fall guys uh mondays um fall guys mondays i love that mm -hmm. Um, Monster says, cool, y'all calling it a night. Yep, we're calling it a night. Uh, too much to bear says, can't wait. Jacob Duffield says, love you guys. This was a very scary Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, Thank this you, was a very scary Sunday. As usual, make sure that you follow us um, on our YouTube channel, subscribe, like the videos, like this video. Um, you know, help it get some traction as and well as head over to our Discord channel yeah. where we, it's gonna be in the description, all our links like to our Discord. If you wanna join us there, leave suggestions. We also have our Patreon. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of different tiers. We have a $1 tier where you just support us. We have $3, $6 and $12 tiers. They all come with some benefits as well as some like uh, merch mm -hmm. um, that we have. Uh, the top tier being a $12 tier. If you stay with us for three months, you do get a Tar Bandwagon t-shirt. Yes, you do. Um, so head over there. Um, and we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. We have Saw 2 coming up for a reaction. We have uh, the Insidious Chapter 3 mm -hmm. coming out soon, as well as Sorority Row. We might have that out soon and uh, pronto. Um, but without, did you have anything to say? Oh, no. I'll also, don't forget Scream Queens finale that's coming out yes! soon, too. Yes! Scream Queens finale, the last video, is going to be coming out this weekend so stay tuned for that and we'll always see you guys next week but until then we have been your source for horror analysis criticism and spooky okay and sometimes kooky entertainment bye everyone bye